Well, hi everybody, welcome to pre-service chat. Great to have you all with us. And uh, just a few minutes ago, I just met this gentleman, Stephen Bell. Welcome, good to have you. Glad to be here. Yeah, and now Stephen, you're with us because you're with the organization, The Mustard Seed. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe how long you've been there, and let's dig in a little bit. Sure, and firstly, thank you so much for inviting me. Absolutely. Uh, between one fern, this yeah. is great. <laughs> uh, I'm, as already said, I'm Stephen Bell. I'm the executive director and senior pastor of the Mustard Seed Street Church. Okay. We are currently in three different locations. We have uh, the Hope Farm Healing Center right. that's up in Duncan. We have another location that's in Esquimalt. That's our Victoria Food Hub. Okay. And then our third lo location is right downtown on Queens Avenue in the poorest area of Victoria. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, now, um, you're fairly new to Victoria. Six months. Six months. Yes. How are you finding it? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Um, thing, when I originally moved, I've been in, I've been in uh, Vancouver for 17 years, okay. and I thought that was slowing down from Toronto. Oh. <laughs> Getting here, that's, it's just yes. wonderful. Just mm -hmm. people show up at ish times, okay. which, is, which is lovely. Uh, but yeah, people are just very welcoming. Yeah. And you, it's cool. almost like Victoria is the biggest small town I've ever been in. Right, um, that's a good way of putting it. But yeah, great partnerships with, uh, cool. with, with churches here, great partnerships with other ministry units that are uh, on the island. Awesome. It's great. Yeah. yeah. So you, you mentioned there's, there's these three different sort of centers. There, there's quite a scope. As, as you said, there's a church and then there's these other centers. Maybe talk a little bit about that. How does all of that play together? Sure. Uh, so years ago, there was the founder, uh, Gip Forrester. Right. He had uh, just a heart for the people who were on the street. Okay. Uh, what we knew is that we weren't going to be a shelter, but what we needed to do was still be able to proclaim the gospel while giving food to anybody who needs it. Okay. So you don't have to be on the street to come where we are, and that was one of Gip's uh, major focuses. No, regardless, anyone can come. Yeah. Uh, from there, uh, actually the city was a big fan of what we were doing and okay. was able to give us a lot of space and a lot of breathing room. Nice. Uh, was able to help with some of the mortgage, all kinds of stuff. It oh, was wow. just really, nice. really helpful. Um, so in that area, we're able to do a lot of hospitality and immediate outreach to some of the poorest people in Victoria. Uh, at another location, again, we have the Victoria Food Hub, where at this time we are feeding approximately the, um, how would I say this? We're feeding approximately 10% of Victoria and the greater Victoria area. Um, if we were started counting all the tons of food that is being wow. donated by all of the generous people yeah. uh, who are around, and always the answer is more, please. Wow. Because um, wow. especially during a time like this, uh, lots of people are without jobs. Yeah. Um, lots of people are really feeling the crunch. Hmm. Um, so right now, our numbers have gone way up, okay. um, but we're still able to provide um, yeah. because of the generous contributions of people uh, in Victoria and the surrounding area. Wow. Uh, I'm sure people can you know, hit your website to find out some of these details, but maybe give us a, the basic run of a week. What, at, at the mustard, mustard seed. seed. Yeah, yeah kind sure. of what, what takes place... That's great. That's a great question. Uh, so out front, we every morning set up at about seven o'clock. So oh, is this on Queens. Can, sorry, this is on Queen okay. Queens Avenue. Yes. Yep. So on Queens Avenue, we're able to set up at around seven o'clock in the morning. After that, people just basically flock to our area. People are able to wait for the food bank that we have right there. Okay. Uh, we also have pastors and outreach workers who are constantly outside. Uh, speaking with people, um, mm. helping them get from not just their spiritual, but also from their social point A yep. to their spiritual and social point B. Okay. Um, also, uh, at around, I'd say, around 8 o'clock, 8.30, somewhere around there, we start preparing for devotions where people are invited to come and, uh, yeah, just experience uh, a daily moment of uh, inspiration uh, found from the Holy Bible. Okay. After that... Uh, once again, we're back outside speaking with people. Um, mm. Some people are writing sermons. Other people are trying to run hospitality units. Other people are trying to go out to prisons uh, that are in the local area that we okay. have connections with and uh, trying to help people who are out there. There's a ministry that we're about to restart up now that COVID's getting close to the end okay. uh, to connect with William Head Institution. Very, very excited about that. Nice. Um, yeah, but then at the other places, we are just... Uh, starting at 6 o'clock in the morning, we have directors who are 
ready and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed who are uh, <laughs> directing just 18-wheelers going everywhere for food wow. across the island. Um, it's, wow. it's a wonderful thing to see. We also then, of course, have Hope Farm. Mm. And over at Hope Farm uh, is another place we hope to be opening in around uh, October, Okay, uh, reopen in October, right. and that's going to be a place for people uh, who are looking for more direction post 90-day recovery. Okay, um, Very, very excited about to see what's been going on there. Wow. But in an average day, uh, that's the kind of stuff that we're looking at doing. That's amazing. Okay, yeah. so uh, what I'm hearing is there's got to be a fairly big staff group. Yes. Um, but I wonder, are there some uh, volunteer gaps? Like you're talking about some things maybe starting up. What, how could people get involved if they wanted to volunteer? Sure. So definitely the problem that we have right now is because of COVID, a lot of people have been afraid to volunteer yep. uh, in a postal code totally. like this. Uh, so what we're doing is saying to everyone, hey, you know what? We're almost at the end. This is the time to sign up. Uh, the fields are white right now and we would love to be in partnership hmm. with your church with your congregation with your small group or yeah. even if it's just you yeah. uh, the only requirements we have is that you're double vaxxed and that you're willing to wear a mask yeah. uh, but hopefully that's going to be able to be dropped pretty soon uh, we're hoping we're hoping we're to all, hear something we're all hoping yes, to hear as, something soon we yes. are getting some good news uh, yeah. but yeah. Uh, we'll we'll go from there but of course uh, please feel free to contact our volunteer coordinator um, we can yeah. go from there. Hit the website. Yeah. So prayer needs, what I'm hearing, are uh, the ability for the opening up for volunteers to be able to lean back in. Yes. Um, Hope Farm yes. uh, for October and William Head. Am I right on that? That sounds perfect. Yeah. yeah. So that's those are the main pieces for this year. And awesome. then again, just getting back into church revitalization and what wow. that looks like. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you guys thought of that, but that's a lot going on. Uh, Stephen, thank you so much. Great to have you in Victoria. Welcome. Thank you. And we look forward to continuing to partner with you. God bless. God bless you. Thanks, everybody, for being with us.